You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really did not expect to end up here today. Out of all places we could search for Pokemon cards here? Really? Well, let's get started. Today, Pokemon fans, we are gonna try to figure out does Cracker Barrel sell Pokemon cards? I honestly don't know what to say. Marie, do you think Cracker Barrel, of all locations, sells Pokemon cards? Yes. This is the first time we have ever searched a restaurant. I'm almost positive. Wait a minute. We could get Pokemon cards and hash browns. I'm liking this. All right, Breaking Family, let's find out. Does Cracker Barrel sell Pokemon cards? <laughs> All right, we gotta find Pokemon cards. Handles, not Pokemon cards. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I see a theme deck. We got Rebel Clash. Ooh, Gengar. We need to find booster packs. There we go, we found them. We got Vivid Voltage and some Sword and Shield. There's the prices. These right here were really expensive. I only got three packs. Three? Yeah. It cost me over $20. <laughs> However, we are going to go to a dollar store because you know how much I love a good dollar store Pokemon pack. And then we're gonna head back to the studio and open everything up. Marie? Yeah? Let's head to the dollar store. The king has arrived. This has been taking way too long <laughs> at the dollar store. All right, here we go. Do they have any Pokemon cards? And they do. Even more down there. Marie, what I need you to do is pick out one Salamence 10 and pick out one Dragonite 10. Going to the very far back. Marie's really trying there. <laughs> All right, you almost got it. You almost got it. What do you got there? Okay, Salamence 10. And then Dragonite 10 right down there. Oh yeah, there's one up there too. Do you want the Dragonite 10 that was down there or do you want the one that was up there? You're gonna switch? Okay, Marie is switching. These are $10 each and this is easily the most most Pokemon tins I've seen at Dollar General in a long time. And look what I discovered. They have an entire unopened case right here of more. I'm not getting it though. All right, Marie, let's head back home. It's cold. I really don't like the winter. What is up, my Breaky family? Sending some positive vibes in your direction. We are back from buying Pokemon cards at Dollar General and Cracker Barrel. And no, I didn't get any hash browns. I honestly just didn't expect today's video to happen. Who would have thought? Well, as always, we have to officially answer the question and confirm, does Cracker Barrel sell Pokemon cards? Cue the drum roll. Yes, Cracker Barrel does sell Pokemon cards. Now I gotta say, I'm happy another location is selling Pokemon cards. However, these right here were a little bit more on the expensive side. $4.99, $6.99. Also, we decided, of course, to also go to Dollar General and pick up some Pokemon card tins. I know what you're thinking. Wait a minute, there's three there. There was only one way to make sure that Marie picked the best tin. We ended up getting both Dragonite tins. All right, Breaking Family, let's get started with today's Pokemon card opening but do me a favor, demolish that like button and in the comment section down below, let me know which of these three tins you think is gonna have the best pulls. I think I'm gonna go with the Salamence tin. Now we have a lot of Pokemon cards to open up today and I wanna say thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and hang out with me and the entire Breaking Family in a positive environment. Leave the negativity at the door. Let's have a good time. Let's smile, let's laugh, let's open up some Pokemon cards and most importantly, let's be ourselves and put some positive vibes out there into the world. Right here on top, we have the Pokemon cards from Cracker Barrel. We are gonna open up those very, very last. So let's go ahead and set those off to the side. Now right here we have our three tins from Dollar General. This one right here is the one that Marie ended up going with. This one right here is the original. The way I'm able to tell the difference is the original one has this like little plastic tag and then the one that Marie ended up going with does not have that. So let's go ahead and of course I picked the Salamence tin for having the best pulls. So let's go ahead and open up the original Dragonite tin. Now this was Marie's first choice when it came to Dragonite tins and then she decided to switch. So was that a good decision or was that a bad decision? So let's find out. Marie typically has uh, good luck when it comes to uh, picking Pokemon cards. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have some fire pulls inside of this one. There's the code card right there for that Dragonite. Now all of these are going to be dollar booster packs, $1 Pokemon packs right here. We have 10 of them. Of course, the, t uh, the tens are $10. Whoo, that is a lot to say. Tens are $10. We have two Lost Thunder, Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, another Unified Minds, another Unified Minds, Cosmic Eclipse, Evolutions, um, another Evolutions and another Cosmic Eclipse. These are the updated versions of the Dragonite and Salamence 10. They used to have different uh, pack selections inside of them. Uh, I think they included like Ancient Origins and um, Breakpoint or Breakthrough. So anyways, 
If you've never opened up a dollar store booster pack, they are only one dollar. However, you only get three cards inside of them. You're not guaranteed a rare. You're not guaranteed a reverse hollow. However, you can pull any card from the set. So you can pull your most wanted card. You can pull the most valuable card, whatever. You could pull it from a $1 booster pack. So it will be the middle card if you do have a rare or reverse hollow or an ultra rare. All right, Pikachu, switch. There we go. Hollow rare Nido King from Evolutions. And uh, honestly, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Look at that foil. Ooh, so, so nice. We're gonna set that right there. Let's go into the next one. Evolutions once again. So already doing pretty well. That first one had a reverse hollow. The second one had a hollow rare. What's the third one going to have? Secret rare. That's technically a secret rare. Right down there, you can see technically a secret rare. So we're <laughs> and a reverse hollow. Okay, so uh, doing pretty well. Doing pretty well so far. Cosmic Eclipse is up next. Of course, Cosmic Eclipse is going to be getting a reprint around about uh, April, so keep a watch out for that. Stuffle, energy, we got the bird and energy cam right over there activated, and we have ourselves a Rowlet. All right, Unified Minds, if you didn't see yesterday's video, that's right, there was a surprise video on Monday. Go back and watch it, I'll link you up at the very end of today's video, but if you didn't see Monday's video, we opened up the reprint boxes of Unified Minds, the ones that started popping up at Walmart in Meyer stores that look exactly like this. We opened up a bunch of them in uh, in yesterday's video, so go and check that out. And we ended up pulling two, two of the tag team that a lot of people, a lot of people are searching for. It's a really good tag team, so I, I won't spoil it for you. You can go ahead and go ahead and check that out and watch it. All right, here we go. No ultra rare so far, so Marie might have made a good choice. However, we've been getting really awesome pulls. These are good cards right here, Breaking Family. These are good cards. We got a hollow rare. Hollow rares are good. We got a Mawile and a Carvana. Ooh, nah, nah. Three booster packs left. Unified Minds and two Lost Thunder. Of course, Slowpoke and Psyduck, the best tag team ever, is from Unified Minds. So maybe we'll pull that in a Dollar General Pokemon pack. All right, and, oh, a Gibble. Energy, put that right over there. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right, Lost Thunder is up next. Ah, all right, here we go. Lost Thunder, we found you. You're not lost anymore. Come hang out with us. We have a Scyther with those Kanto vibes going into a Myrel. And then last but not least, we have one more Lost Thunder in these dollar store Pokemon cards. We have a Poiple, Memory Energy, and a Larvitar. So we got some good stuff in there. That is uh, not a lie at all. We got some good stuff. But did Marie make a good decision? We'll find out here after this 10. Now this one was my pick for having the best pulls, the Salamence 10. Ah, I'll put that right over there. There's the code card right there. Now you don't get code cards inside of the dollar store booster packs, unfortunately, but that's okay. You know, they're $1, uh, exact same, exact same pack selection right there. However, uh, if you are new here to the channel, which if you are, thank you so much for giving this channel a chance. I appreciate it very, very much. Hopefully you and the rest of the breaking family are having an awesome day. Um, but I do give out the code cards in every single video. I never keep them. I always give them to you. So make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you never miss one. There we go. Tyranitar GX. Woo! Tyranitar, a very, very popular Pokemon. And it is joining the party today. Breaking Family Tyranitar GX making its presence known. Here we go. Take a look at that beautiful card. Let's sleeve it up. Whoop! Right up there in the VIP section. The very important Pokemon card section. All right, next up, I was saying, yes, make sure your bell notification icon is turned on so you never miss a single video. I upload four to five times every single week. Shuckle Squad, where are you at? Make your presence known down in the comment section if you're Shuckle Squad. Up next, we got Unified Minds once again. We got that Ultra Rare Tyranitar in the Salamence 10. Going into a Salandent Reverse Hollow. All right, Cosmic Eclipse. Cosmic Eclipse, you are up next. Of course, we could pull 
the statue Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia. That would be pretty amazing in a $1 Pokemon pack. Primplup and a Weezing, which is a rare, I believe, actually. Yep, so you get to go right over there. Unified Minds. Of course, Mewtwo and Mew inside of the set, along with Raichu and Alolan Raichu. Love the artwork on that one. Oranguru. How you doing, Oranguru? And, okay, okay. Oh, we'll take it. We'll take it. Reverse Allo. Not bad at all. Unified Minds. Once again. All right, Unified. Unified Minds. What do you got for us? Marini. Stop acting so me mean. I guess mean is kind of in that name, right? Marini, stop acting so mean. And a Hollow Rare Evil Tall, Yveltal, right there. Look at the artwork on that. That is stunning. I'd like to have that as some big artwork on the wall. There are certain Pokemon cards that I would just like as big artwork on the wall. That would be one of them. Just right, right in the living room. Right there in the living room. Right above the fireplace. All right, here we go. We have an Oddish. That's beautiful artwork, too. We have a Cricketune, which is in tune. Cricketunes are always in tune. And, if I can get it, we have a Ralts as well. Now we have two Evolutions and a Cosmic Eclipse. We'll save those Evolutions for last. Open up this Cosmic Eclipse first. Ah, there we go. Passivian. All right, Energy, here we go. Here we go. Energy. <laughs> that was weak, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, and we got a Jangma. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, Evolutions. A chance at a Charizard inside of Evolutions, of course. We have an Energy. Energy. Not too bad. Magmar going into a Starmie, which is a rare. So another rare from a Dollar Store Booster Pack. Ah, there we go. Dollar General Pokemon cards. Gotta love them. And last but not least, we have Potion going into a Reverse Hollow Machoke. Very, very nice. But let's see. I think what a lot of you are waiting to see. Did Marie pick the best Dragonite 10? Ah, there we go. You know, honestly, I think Marie did. I think Marie did. There's the Dragonite right there. Here is all of the booster packs. Set that off to the side. There's the code card once again for you, Breaking Family. And all of the booster packs. We are definitely opening up a lot of Dollar General Pokemon packs today. All right, Bruxish, we see ya. Welcome to the party. We have ourselves a Moo Moo Milk. Gotta love Moo Moo Milk. And a Dedenne. I like that artwork. I like that artwork. All right. Lost Thunder, just making sure. Yep, Lost Thunder, we found you. You're not lost anymore. Going into a Chikorita with those Johto vibes. And a Lolan Doug Trio. We'll set that off to the side in the reverse hollow pile. Yanma, how you doing? All right, so far, I think that first Dragonite 10's been better. And a Swaddle, however, two reverse hollows so far in this one, so. It's definitely working its way up there. Ah, Cosmic Eclipse. Pretty sought after set right now. We got Temple, Vaporeon, and a Drampa, which is a rare. So the leaderboard, leaderboard is looking pretty even when it comes to those Dragonite tins. Although I would love, I would love for you to let me know in the comments which Dragonite tin you think overall one, the first or the second one, Fletchling, which is a bird, and it'd be rude to tell a bird to just sit there and not spread its wings and fly away, bird, fly away. Oh, yes, that was good. It kind of went off screen, but that was a good one. All right, Unified Minds up next. Uh, uh. As you could see earlier, uh, it is snowing. Well, I guess I don't want to say snowing. It's, it's freezing rain out. Another reason I don't like the winter. On top of... Uh, on top of winter just making me not in the best of mood, um, which is okay to not be in, in the best of mood sometimes. That's perfectly okay. It's an emotion. Um, it, it just, uh, the freezing rain just makes it worse. Just makes it worse. But we, st we got to stay positive. We got to stay positive. I know that spring and winter is right around the corner, and tomorrow's a new day. So, you know, 
Got to stay. Hey, there we go. Speaking of staying positive, Psyduck, how you doing? Welcome to the party. You get your own section right there. Like I was saying, you just got to stay positive, you know? Tomorrow's a new day. Wake up, give it your best. Little improvements every single day. All right. Next up, we have an energy. All right, here we go. Energy. Woo, that was a good one. Pidgeot Spirit Link going into a Growlithe. And evolutions, last one, didn't, I don't know, I don't know, did Marie make a good decision here? Voltorb, Charmeleon, and a reverse hollow Pikachu, honestly, honestly, I'm going to say, I think, I think Marie made a good decision there. Marie, I think you made a good decision. That's, uh, congratulations. She can probably hear me right now. <laughs> She's just in the other room. All right, here we go. We have our booster packs from Cracker Barrel. Yes, Cracker Barrel does sell Pokemon cards. Let's go ahead and start with, um, let's start with Sword and Shield. Start with our Sword and Shield. These right here were $7.99. Now, the little uh, price tag said that there was also many tins, but they did not have any many tins there. Uh, there's the code card right there. If you do collect sports cards, um, obviously, as you saw, they had they had some football and some baseball. I don't know a whole I don't know a whole lot about sports cards. Blah blah blah. I don't know a whole lot about them, but um, I don't know if those are good. If those are not so good, um, I don't buy sports cards. But you can let me know. But I figured if you do collect them, I would just uh, go ahead and give you that information. So they have some as well. We have ourselves a Rosalia, Chewtel, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Energy. Oh, that was like perfect right there. Perfect. All right. Palpad, Kingler, Rhydon, Scorebunny going into Kanto vibes with that Snorlax. That Snorlax is happy. Snorlax, you are very, very happy. There is the code card right there. Let's go into our next Sword and Shield booster pack. These are the check lane blisters technically. There's the code card for that one that will unlock that Glossifer and that nice Raichu coin. All right, Sword and Shield, what do we got here? Ugh. Okay, come on, come on. Let's see a Hollow Rare. Let's see a Hollow Rare in our Sword and Shield booster pack. We have Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Feral Seed, Krabby with those Kanto vibes, Energy. Some days we wake up Krabby, that's okay. Pokegear 3.0 because, oh, is not a number. Aurora Energy, Cinderace going into a Turtonator for the rare in that one. So no, um, no hollow rares in either of those. There's the code card for that last one. Let's see. Let's see if we can get at least a hollow rare from Pokemon cards at Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel Pokemon cards. All right, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. I like Cracker Barrel's food. I'm rooting for you. Here we go. We have Blitzel, Energy. I'm rooting for those good pulls for you. Shuckle, Nuzleaf. There's the code card right there. And we are ending on. Oh, a Jolteon. I, I, I'm sorry to say it, but Jolteon. You ruined the party! Breaking family, that's it for today's Pokemon opening. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Check out these videos right over here. I'll see you all in the next video. And I truly love every single one of you all around the world. Do it with me now. Peace, love, and a high five.